what is going on jumpers in this jump rope tutorial we're going to cover the eb go go mick i'm going to give you the main tips things to avoid in an actual progression to help you learn this skill if your goal is to become an efficient jumper and continually level up your skills over time then this tutorial is for you all right let's get started before doing this skill, you should be able to do an EB cross and a regular mic release and ideally an EB wrap. You don't 100% need the EB wrap, but it will help a lot. Most people think the EB go go mic is one skill, but it's actually just an imprecise name that refers to a combo with a few different skills put together. Before we get into the details, just a heads up that you should go visit Netflix on my website. There's over 500 freestyle combos for you to try with all sorts of skills, including the EB go go mic and it's completely free. Now this skill is one of the coolest looking releases and it is quite the crowd pleaser, but it can be hard to understand at first because there's a lot of swinging happening. There are several ways to execute this skill, but we're gonna stick with the simplest version that begins with a regular swing. Let's break down exactly what's happening here. We start with a basic side swing and our hand goes behind our back just like a normal EB cross. Then instead of actually doing an EB, we do an EB go-go swing on the same side as our first swing. And then we let go of our restricted hand to do a vertical release or a mic release. And then we catch the rope into a single under. Now that second swing is kind of weird and it looks kind of weird and that's because it's a go-go. Go-go's are actually an entire group of skills and to keep it really simple, a go-go is where one arm crosses the body twice. So in the EB go-go swing, our back arm is behind our body and it's also trying to reach across the front of our torso as well. Of course, we are limited to how far our arm can actually reach, so the rope ends up grazing our stomach or we have to rotate our upper body to clear the swing. But you can imagine if our arm was super long, our hand would just go all the way in front of our body. So that is the EB go go swing. Now there are a few things to keep in mind as you do this combo. Both swings should be as vertical as possible. Focus on having the rope strike the ground next to your feet. You want to reach your back hand as far behind your back as you can. And to start the vertical release, let go of the rope as it starts traveling up towards your face. Once you let go of the rope, make sure your chest faces forwards and you bring your turning hand down back to neutral as you catch the rope. Now there's a few things to avoid, of course, and the first thing to avoid is a small cross. If you don't cross your arm far enough, you're not gonna make the skill. It's also really common to let go of the rope too early. If you do that, the handle will most likely just slam into the ground. You don't want extremely diagonal swings because that's really gonna make it hard to catch the vertical release. And you really don't wanna try this skill before you understand how to jump an EB cross. If you try to power through this skill without understanding the regular EB, you're gonna have a very hard time moving on to other variations of this combo. And lastly, practice this with only one mic rotation at first to understand the core skill. You can move on to two or more mic rotations after you have solid control of that. Now that we've gone over the details, let's talk about how to practice this skill. The first step is a standing side swing into a slow standing EB go go swing, then an EB swing and a toe catch. Watch the rope and make sure that you are really reaching with your back arm. The next step is to do a standing swing, a standing EB go go swing, then release the rope up into the air, but don't turn the mic yet. Just watch the rope and pay attention to the timing. Once you've got that, go for the full combo. Do a swing, EB go go swing, then vertical release into a toe catch. And the last step after you've caught the release is to do the entire thing jumping. This will be tricky, so go slowly and make sure that you're jumping when the swings hit the ground. If this tutorial helped you with the EB go go mic, send it off to a friend that wants to learn this skill or might also enjoy this tutorial. And if you want more tutorials, don't forget to subscribe to the channel because there are a lot more coming in the future. If you have any questions at all, drop a comment down below or DM me over on Instagram at Nate underscore KG.